guys, what's up? How's your girl Akila B? I'm in NYC and it's lit, okay? I'm about to head over to the Sisters and Sales Conference and I have a panel in about an hour I'm about to sit on about personal branding and developing yourself as a seller. So I'm really excited not only to do that, but to connect with so many people who have been messaging me and telling me they're gonna be there. I cannot wait to meet you guys. But for now, let's go. Come on, let's see what it's all about. <laughs> Oh my God, we're back together in New York City. Ah! <sighs> we got Big K and the Big Apple. Period. <laughs> you being homophobic? Where can I find a single man in, in this city? <laughs> Where the niggas at? <laughs> I'm trying to, yeah. Okay. Ah! And say hey. How was the vibes? How was the vibes? I can't. No. I had so much fun. Okay. Confirmations, y'all. So many revelations. So much. So much has went down i feel so overwhelmed with joy and just everybody seeing this who met me on my travels because i met so many of my followers like overwhelmingly like and i just want to thank y'all all for pouring into me because for a long time y'all i have really i just pour into everybody like and this is my natural calling i know that but Y'all poured back into me through my travels. Y'all showed me the impact I'm having. Y'all took it there. Y'all really gave me energy. Um, the girls is really changing their life. They're getting into tech, um, changing their lives. You know what I'm saying? And I just want to say, like, it's it was overwhelmingly just joy. Like, I don't know how to explain it. Um, I 100% know I'm working in walking in whatever God's purpose is that he has for me in this season and it is so fulfilling to know that and have that confirmation I feel like I'm moving I'm leaving Atlanta I feel like God has given me the sign I prayed about it I've been wanting to leave for so long um like the past year I just have not been happy here I just really don't have no ties here I'm like that I feel like I've outgrown this city, constant partying, this small mentality, materialistic energy. Like, it's just not for me. Um, I think the people here are extremely shallow people and they just value things and just don't care about family, tradition, just being a good person. And I feel like I've always embodied that. I've always wanted a family. I'm about to be 29 in a few months. Like, I'm like, I'm ready to settle down and move into that next phase of my life. Um, I'm building my dream business, tech level. I got the website today, the first revision of it. I'm just in awe. I sat back like, God, I cannot believe this is happening. It's just overwhelming, um, you know? So, guys, I think I'm just going to move to Dallas, potentially. I think that's the location I want to go to. But yeah, I think I'm just going to go buy another crib in Dallas and just make a move. I feel like I prayed on it. I went to, to Dallas last week. You'll see that in this vlog, um, the whole trip. I'm going to put the whole trip in here. But I wanted to move to Dallas before moving to Atlanta. Like It was kind of like my two places that I was deciding on when I was moving to Atlanta. I've been in Atlanta for six and a half years. And like I said, I just feel like I'm ready to step into meeting my husband, having my house, my yard. Like, I just, I'm ready for that. And I know it. And I've been praying on it. I've been still, I've been in waiting on it. I've been doing the things necessary to bring me into that space from a financial perspective, for my business, for my family foundation, as well as, um, you know, just changing up things about how I'm dating releasing certain types of things and circles around me and I just feel like yeah I'm really ready to step into a lot of different things this next year and like this fall so y'all would y'all believe I prayed to God when I got back home from Dallas because I got so many confirmations in Dallas at Woman Evolved that you know I think this is the place for me I've been wanting to come and I just feel like it's the time and um I got back and I prayed to God and I said God if I, I applied for a rental permit for my crib back in April 
and it was because they was tripping off me like having up an old Airbnb listing from three years ago in my crib and I was just like I don't do that like I, I really don't Airbnb my crib like why y'all tripping if I ever wanted to start Airbnb I don't want my profile taken down like I just want to maintain my status on here I don't want to have to delete everything and they were like we don't care and if in the future you ever want to do anything with your crib you should apply for the permit so I was like all right fuck it let me just apply for the permit why did as soon as I got back from Dallas and I pray to God like if it's time for me to make a move from Atlanta and I am and I'm you know able to rent I'm moving y'all within an hour they email me back and I will insert the email here and they were like you actually have been moved to the top of the rental list your permit is granted and basically I have four months to find a tenant Otherwise, they're going to put me back onto a waiting list to be able to get out of my crib and actually use it more so as an investment property. Because in my community, only a certain amount of people are allowed to rent legally. And they be tweaking off of it and they'll fine you and sue you. It's like a whole bunch of shit. So what are the odds of that? I also, you know, just got my bonus for the end of the year. Like, I have enough savings to just go buy a second crib. Like, I'm kind of like, I just think God aligned a lot of things. I feel like I also just trailed my travels, went on a random date, and I'm just mind blown. Mind blown. Mind blown is all I can say, and that's where I'm going to leave that one. Um, but yeah, I feel something big about to happen, especially with me launching Tech Level next month. I really do. I feel like the amount of people I'm coaching and impacting is about to go up. Like, I feel like everything's just going to 10x. And they say everything is bigger in Texas, you know? So, I don't know. I think that's what's going on. But I just want to say I'm blessed. I want to say that I just encountered a ride here. And this is just a random word I'm going to throw out there because it was an older black man. And he was like, you have a platform you need to inf in inform your followers that, you know, everybody should be informed about, you know, our rights as individuals, especially as African-Americans. But all the crazy things that go on, people being, you know, brutalized by police or this or that. So I'm going to throw that out there. I don't know if that's a message for anybody. But I think... The biggest message of all my travels is that really putting your faith in God will just... I've always been somebody... Y'all, I feel like my walk is very different now. I'm actually getting baptized tomorrow, guys. Like, God, I feel like has been really speaking to me about that. I've never been baptized in my life. And, yeah, I'm just going to go do it tomorrow. So, one, I didn't really know it was such a huge deal. Because, like, I've just been praying and I feel like God's been telling me to do that. But... Everybody around me is like, yo, okay, this is ma major. Like, this is really good. Like, you know, you're really walking in your season with God right now. And I'm like, very blessed that this is happening. I'm so excited. I've just been so excited. And while I was in New York at a random bar, this random Asian guy, like, randomly out of nowhere, tells me his favorite church in Atlanta when he visits is the church I'm getting baptized at and it was such a confirmation because we were all lit just dancing having a great time one of those nights that's just amazing and I don't know him from tomorrow and this is not my church the church I typically go to they cut off the signups while I was traveling I just really slipped my mind I was like I'm gonna just sign up you know this week they cut it off exactly the week before and this other church all my friends go to was like yo go to our church like it's good it's a really nice church that happened to be the church the man told me is his favorite church in Atlanta and I'm just happened to do it there and they did they had the same exact day available that got shut down at my typical church that I would have went to word of faith so how weird is that when I tell y'all God been speaking honey this whole trip he was speaking he was showing up I, and I only see him showing up in my life but everybody connected to me right now my friends is it's amazing like, it is amazing. This shit is literally giving me chills. Like, you know, it's just like he's showing up. And I will let y'all know, God is very real. Jesus is real, in my opinion. You can believe in whatever you want to believe in, but I'm going to stand on that. He is so real. And it's so crazy. Um, I'm just so happy that I'm taking this step and I'm walking with him and doing everything that I've been called to. Because the way that my life is transforming before my eyes is just mind-blowing. But, yeah. We're going to get into the vlog. We gonna kick this thing off. It's so lit. This is a very, very lit vlog. I'm really happy to take you guys with me to Women Evolve, to Sisters in Sales Conference, my first panel speaking um, at a sales conference, Empire State Building in New York. 
that's where I was born and raised. Like everything was just so full circle, y'all. I can't even make this up. Um, I'm so blessed. I'm just so blessed and I'm so grateful for everything going on. Um, and it's really getting litter and litter and I'm so excited to keep bringing you guys on this journey with me. And like I said, thank you to everybody I've met, I interacted with y'all energy, gave me life, lifted me up and made me know that I have this purpose and I have to keep going. So make sure you guys sign up. Um, we are starting the next coaching group on October 5th. The link is going to be below. If you, you know, we talked about it and you want to join the, the sales coaching and October 15th, baby, the tech level is getting released. Y'all, we got like a three week countdown. So let's get into it. But I just wanted to say that before we started this vlog and I'm really excited to be here and I'm really excited for you to take you guys through this vlog. It was very special to me. And yeah, I'll see you guys next week. All right, y'all. So I am in Texas, and I just got to um, the school on the left. Oh, maybe it's up here. I'm not sure. 37, 37. What's the name of the company? I'm not sure. It's just three. I think it's up there where the lady is outside. Oh, okay. Yes. So, I'm meeting um, someone who is actually introducing me to the owner of a tech school and boot camp. So, this is just phenomenal because obviously I'm about to launch mine. So, I'm just really blessed that I was in Dallas at the right time and I got this connect. Um, so, I'm really excited about this meeting and I will yes, let sir. you guys know how it goes. Yes. Hi. Hi. Appreciate is the integrity though. That's what I can really You own there. this nice place, yeah. and you've helped a lot of people break into yeah. tech. I want to help 100,000 people. Yes, that's uh, especially awesome. Especially women, uh, African Americans, people that are like below 80 percent. Those are my folks. Yes. Whoever is 20, top 20, they are not my folks. <laughs> I want people with below 80. That's they, they need they need more loyal, uh, less competition in the job market. They need a lot of help. I'm there to help them. Awesome. Yeah, so I'm going to leave all the information below. And if you're looking to get coding skills in tech, I'll definitely leave all the information so you guys can sign up and check out this course, especially if you're in the Dallas area. Guys, my day has been absolutely insane. So I am finally having a second to myself. And I'm now heading to meet all the girls in Dallas. I can't wait to meet you guys. Um, yeah, I literally have been running, ripping and running meetings back to back since I landed this morning. And then I had an hour to go change and get ready. This is what I got on. So I'm going to head over there and then we're going to be headed to Woman Evolve. I can't wait to bring you guys along and show you everything going on. And I cannot wait to see everybody coming. Um, so yeah, once I get there, I'm going to definitely vlog and show you all the vibes. Okay, right here. Yes, thank you. Okay. <laughs> hey, say hey. hey. How was the vibes? How was the vibes? Oh, so much. <laughs> so much. So much. I can't. No. I had so much fun. Okay. Do we look at the work? Uh, where is my room key? 
Max, Mac apparently has a new fix spray. It's an extra fix spray. Is that where you're spraying? Yeah, they gave, <laughs> me, apparently. They gave me a sample. <laughs> fix plus. <laughs> All right, lip gloss. Oh, yeah. so when you got the, the foundation, it, you got it there? That's yeah, but this is a perfect size for some fix spray to travel oh, with. Oh, my feet are screaming. Dad. Okay, room key. Is this it? No. A movie brush shirt too. Oh, Kayla, how was the dinner? The tech. Oh, was it was cool. Like seven, six or seven girls showed up, and did Chris was come out? No, she texted me. She was like, "Hey, I won't be able to make it." I was like, cool. We met. <laughs> I guess. Really? Yeah, she's with this girl. She's hella people here. Oh, I thought you meant she was a lesbian. <laughs> Wait, no. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Did you think I, that, Liz? No, I thought that was bad. I didn't finish my time. Shut up. I was like, whoa, when did she get with a girl? Okay. She's with this girl, I know. Okay. 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 All right, good morning. I'm about to go downstairs and get some breakfast. Day one of Woman Evolve went up. It was crazy. Um, I went by myself last night, so it still felt comfortable. I would encourage you, even if next year um, you're feeling like you want to go, but you don't have friends to go with, it's totally, like, not normal. I mean, not weird, if that makes sense. You could totally go by yourself um, and still feel really comfortable and everybody there is so nice but i'm about to go downstairs and get some breakfast um today i can't bring my camera in there though so y'all how about i almost did not get in because i was trying to bring my camera into vlog but um today i'm wearing this little jumpsuit i have my balenciaga bag and my bible <laughs> no, i'm just playing um and yeah so we went out too last night so eberry's in town and um her friend Liz lives in Dallas as well. We all went to DR a few months ago, if you watched that vlog. And um, yeah, so they went to the Drake concert last night. I didn't go. I went to the Woman Above the day one. It's a three days. So today we're all going. So I'm about to run downstairs and grab some breakfast. Oh, my hair just looks kind of crazy here. Hold on. Um, There we go. So yeah, I'm about to run downstairs and grab some breakfast before they pick me up because I have not eaten since I was at the stadium last night. But um, it's in a baseball stadium, so what I was saying is they're not letting me bring my camera in. And yesterday I almost didn't get in because I brought my camera. I had to go find a restaurant for them to hold it in the back office at so that I could effectively get inside. So sorry about that, guys, but I will give you day-to-day -day reviews like this. But yeah, the first night was just amazing. The energy, like even seeing 40,000 women in person like that is kind of scary. I was bawling my eyes out, y'all. I felt so convicted, like just things that just, you know, we all be going through, um, working on. Definitely she spoke on it. So it was just a great night. And um, yeah, I'm excited for the rest of the weekend. I definitely feel like I'll evolve um, mentally, think of things differently, and really just try to work on the challenges that I be working on and talking to God about all the time more and more and just build that faith and relationship with him. So um, here's to day two in Dallas. I think today will be a little bit more fun. We are going out again tonight um, after the Drake concert. And um, tonight's supposed to be like the most of the night because I guess it's two nights of the Drake concert in Dallas. And then, yeah, I don't know. I'm feeling Dallas. I kind of want to stay an extra day, potentially go to the Cowboys game and just explore the city since we're going to be in Arlington at this conference. And it's just been back to back tonight. I'm definitely going to get us dinner reservations. I want to go to Carbone. Um, and yeah, so we're going to see if I have time to explore Dallas for an extra day versus leave tomorrow right after the conference and just give it a go but I'm starving I need to get downstairs so I can get something to eat and I will talk to you guys soon Get some breakfast because I'm starting like I was saying. So yeah, I'm 
waiting on Iberia and Liz to come pick me up so that we can head down there for today. Today is like three or four sessions spread throughout the day. So we shall see. Um, it is a great day. I'm very grateful. I got my bonus for the year today. Okay, honey. Um, I'm about to go back home this weekend and then we're heading to New York in a day for our sisters in sales. I'm just so excited. Life has just been so good lately and I just want to show gratitude, but I'm starving. I ordered some ricotta lemon zest pancakes, so let's see what this is hitting for with some eggs. With some eggs, so we don't see what it's hitting for. This is a very cool hotel called the Stratler. One of my friends had told me to come to the rooftop here anyways while I was down in Dallas, and I had no idea it was across the street from where I was staying. But when I'm walking out, I'm gonna show you guys like the lobby and stuff. It's very cute in here. Um, yeah, so I'm taking my food. We got some shaking. Um, I'm so sad I cannot bring my camera in there. But y'all, it was it was amazing. Like it was really really amazing. I'm excited for day two. Um, and yeah, like she just really poured into everybody. Like I don't know, her presence is just amazing. I'm so happy. I thought I got to see TD Jakes live because I really like the Potter's house. I wish, I wish, I wish I lived in Dallas sometimes to just come. I've been liking Dallas, that's what I was saying. So, I don't know, I've been telling you guys, I don't know what I'm telling you guys, but I'm like really over Atlanta and I really want a change of energy and just a new city and a new vibe. Um, so, we shall see, we shall see what Dallas is giving. I do kind of want to stay just so I actually explore. I've been to Dallas tons of times, but I'm always partying, always doing stuff. I've actually never just been to a stuff like I'm coming to eat here or just staying downtown. I always stay with a friend. Like, So this is my first time actually just, ex I feel like coming to Dallas on some chill, not necessarily going out. Like we are going out, but I'm saying being here during the day to actually experience it a bit. And tonight we're gonna go to dinner. Like, I have not been out to dinner and done all that stuff in Dallas in years, so very excited to see. But, um, yeah. Excuse me. Excuse me. Do you guys have oat milk? Oat milk? Yeah. Yeah, oat almond milk. Um, could you put the oat, oat milk in what I ordered instead of regular? I don't, I don't know what you ordered. Oh, sorry. Sorry. My bad. Um, I'm gonna try a latte. Yeah, I know I don't like coffee, but it was like a brown sugar syrup. We don't see if it's hitting what it's hitting, but we shall see. But yeah, uh, so yeah, I was just saying about Dallas and essentially wanting to just explore the city a little bit more, see what it's giving, see the vibes, um, you know, see what it's looking for in the city. I really do. But yeah, so we're gonna go out tonight. Let me make this reservation for Carbone right now. Talk about it, I met with the girls yesterday. Um, so about six people actually showed up. A bunch of people had expressed interest, which I still feel like it's a great turnout for me to tell somebody almost a day before um, and then pull this off. But I felt like it was great. It was an intimate setting. Um, I'm gonna show you guys some footage in a, in a, uh, after I get off of here. I'm gonna insert some clips so you guys can see what we just talking Hello. about and the vibes. I feel like I should definitely do it in Atlanta next. And I think the turnout in Atlanta would be much bigger since that's where my base community is, obviously. But um, I loved it. It was really cool. It was really cool. I, I met one of the girls in my coaching session that like, um, she's really shy. She's so cute and shy. Uh, so I was like, girl, I didn't even know you was in coaching sessions because you never speak up. So I'm calling on you. So if you see this, I'm calling on you on the next session because you got to speak up when we get out that show. But um, it was just so, so cool. Um, I feel like I just met with the girls. We had a drink, talked. It was just a vibe, y'all. It was a vibe. And then I had like a black mentor. Um, he was like one of the sales leader and like I remember he pulled all of us in a meeting once and he was like Y'all gotta go two times harder. Like I don't really care what y'all got going on Like I remember my first outline or something. I put like abbreviations and stuff and he was like, what the hell is this? Like yo, like y'all gotta step it up. Like yeah, and their culture is very cutthroat Like we had to be in suits and stuff like it's not like yeah, so it was just like I would be like all right, what am I getting, signing up for here? Like, they they just made me serious. Like I couldn't even play with myself no more. 
So I would just say that transformation as an individual just rolled over into like so many aspects of my life, you know? So yeah. Hey! <laughs> we talked about tech. It's just cool to see everybody in their different elements, different parts of their careers and journeys. You know, we talked about the tech level. It's getting ready, y'all. I've been working. I ain't gonna lie, this is the first week in my weeks that I ain't really had time to work on the tech level because I've been, I've been, um, I've been, what you call it? I've been moving around and traveling and next week I'm gonna be traveling too. I didn't even bring my personal laptop with me this week, so. We shall see. I'm tired. But yeah, I wanna boost the energy. I have not slept other than maybe four to five hours in the past two days. And I don't really drink coffee or anything like that, but I'm kind of like, uh, let's see what it's hitting for today. Y'all know, um, I had tried that, like, what was it, caramel and hazelnut uh, latte with oat milk or something once, and that was the only thing I somewhat even potentially came close to liking. Everything that sounds sweet like this typically don't be sweet. So I hope it's sweet. I don't like when it tastes like coffee. But if not, I'm just gonna drink a little bit because I need a boost of energy right now. For real, for real, for real. But, all right, that's enough planting for today. As you guys can see, my energy levels are kind of down. But I really have been on go for the past. Look at it, I can't stop yawning. For the past two days. So, I'm just tired. Sorry for the energy drain. Um, but yeah, we're gonna get into it. Women about day two. I'm really excited. Dallas is in our vibes. We're going out tonight. The girls are doing dinner and just a good time. I have not spent time with E in, in like since we went to Europe, like June and in September. That's almost three months. I ain't seen my girls. So we just like, we wanna have fun together. It's like a great weekend. It's just a great weekend, great vibe. Yeah. 
One thing I'm gonna tell you, if you ever come to my house, and my mama is over there, she's gonna talk to your off. She's gonna talk to you until you can't even listen no more. But she's got great shit to say. She's one of the sweetest people on planet Earth, one of the smartest people on planet Earth. And my mother, without question, before you leave that house, is gonna make you feel better about yourself. She's gonna give you some positivity. So tonight, I wanna do what Mama Sandy would do and give y'all some positive thoughts to leave this building with. Like, uh, like I wanna tell you tonight, I hope that you keep your old friends, but make some new friends. Yeah, yeah. Hey, how about this? I hope that y'all, I hope that y'all keep your old money, but make some new money this year. Yeah. Oh my God, we're back together in New York City. We get to spend the day together. Oh my gosh, guys. I just landed for Sisters in Sales tomorrow. And it is Tuesday and I speak tomorrow. So me and Clint are about to spend the afternoon hanging out, hanging out, some friend time. We haven't seen each other in what? Almost like a year. Yeah. yeah. If you guys don't know, me and Clint, we're roommates. And we like had the best fucking two years of our lives together ever. And... It's been very depressing since we stopped living together. Ah, uh, Chloe would die to see you right now. I know. I know. Where? It was me clearing backspace. <laughs> like, she was finna get in the car just out of habit. Like, like uh, my girl. My I had girl. to stop yesterday to drop her some food because I ended up staying in Dallas longer than expected, guys. Um, and as you guys can see, wig uh, is off, period. And Sean got me all the way together on my one stop home. He came into the shop and I actually did my hair. So shout out to Sean because I really, really wanted my shortcut from New York for New York. The weather is just perfect for it. Um, I finally was able to get my perm. And as you guys can see, she is just slayed. She's everything I want now. So yeah, I had to go through like processes. I had to color it first and let it grow and get natural and just... It's been a lot so we finally at where i like it i love how it's laying i love the cut now um we've been in traffic for like an hour and at least an hour and 30 minutes Welcome leaving the airport you. um York. i don't know why i would land during rush hour actually that was a very very bold decision of mine i mean i was trying to get here though like to be able to like at least take it to come in you know be mobile for my day mm, who's calling me from dallas oh probably a realtor I'm moving guys. Dallas still the deal. I'm leaving Atlanta. Um, it's so weird actually. Uh, as I said, I really want to leave Dallas. I said, God, yesterday I said, God, if I am able to rent my house out, um, it's a sign that it's really time for me to leave. Would you guys believe I applied in April to rent my house out and after this weekend it became available for me to get the permit to rent my house out for my HOA? sign um so yeah i'm kind of like should i just go buy a house in dallas and move because i really want to leave and why not why not what better time so that might be my next move guys i don't know i'm gonna like decide if 2024 i want to move to dallas and see what's going on i think i'm gonna fly back in november meet up with a realtor see what's shaking see what's in the city and we're gonna see if you know it makes sense and if it does we out but i think my time in atlanta has just expired i'm just not feeling it no more i've been telling all my friends i want to change i feel like i've naturally just been going through a major transition and it is just time before i moved to atlanta it was between atlanta and dallas i love dallas um i probably been to dallas about 10 times in my life and every time i loved it so yeah we'll see um, but anyways, this is going to be, um, I don't know if I'm going to make this one extended vlog. I probably will since I'm, I've been traveling so much. I haven't been able to edit, but this is going to be part two of the vlog y'all. We had sisters in sales for the week. 
a um, lot of events. So tomorrow I'm speaking at the Aspiring Seller Summit at the LinkedIn Building and the Empire State Building. So cool um, for a panel. And then Thursday night there's a sales gala and then Friday they kick off the actual like bigger conference. Um, so yeah, I leave Friday night, it's Tuesday. Um, and we lit, we outside with it. I'm gonna be doing a little bit of work and a little bit of work for more so the conference. So see you guys around and we're gonna take you on our sit with us. Yes, we are. It's gonna be a lit day in the city. Just getting it. Oh, and I'm staying at a lit hotel. I cannot wait to see. I'm not gonna spoil it. Y'all gonna see. We gotta do a room tour and all that. But I'm gonna talk to you soon because you know we can't we can't buy out to the music on the on the camera. So we're gonna be back. All right. <laughs> First of all, for New York, it's just so cute because what? They do not be having upscale modern stuff. Unless you're at like the Baccarat or like something like that. But very nice. Very, very nice. This is so cute. And the hotel is super vibey. Like they have a restaurant downstairs. This is really nice. Very nice. A little workstation. I can get some work done. All right, and let's see the views, guys. Right in the city. Very, very cool. So, I'm about to get ready since it took me three hours of commute from the airport to get here because of traffic. I am about to get ready and we are gonna get this day started. So cute in here. Nice lunch vibes with my dog. What? <laughs> yeah, Clint got me walking through Times Square. And it's just bullshit after bullshit after bullshit. I don't know if you, I told you guys this, but I was born in New York and I really despise New York City. It's just like, it gives me anxiety. It's just too much going on. It's so dirty. Uh, and then being in Times Square where my hotel is, is just the ultimate. It's too, doing too much. So, this is much better. My, my anxiety has dropped significantly getting off that block. But, um, we just had a blast at lunch. We're going to Soho now. And we're kicking it in the city for the day. See you guys later. NYC. Too much walking. Too much walking. <laughs> too much walking. I just know the South is my city. I know that up, down, in and out because New York always I just do a lot, I do a lot. So many people, so much walking. When I get to like the vibes anywhere, like here, I'm like, okay, I can fuck with it. But when I have to go move around so much, it's just exhausting. She hates New York. I hate it. Like, she hates it. She's from New York, does she hate it? I've always hated it. So much. Then you gotta be on guard when you're walking down the street. Everybody's just crazy. Anxiety alert. We got Big K in the Big Apple. Period. She hates it. I returned home. <laughs> it has reminded me 100% why I don't like this. 
I don't hate it. It's just not my energy. It may be for a lot of other people, so I don't want to discourage anyone. What about the city do you hate? The energy, like it's too much for me personally. It's too like, much going on. Yeah, too much going on. The dirtiness. <laughs> the rats. The ratatouille. Rats, cats, <laughs> sewers. The cats is helping with the rats. Crackheads. The list goes on. People are just about to snatch your, snatch you up, walk into you, and they haven't bathed in 17 years. Like it's just a lot. It's not for you. My spirit don't align with this. <laughs> Peace and quiet is where I align. Nobody, no neighbors. Oh, that is where I like to feel safe at. So it's given a different vibe, you know. I like the rooftops, I like getting drinks, I like being around more chill shit. But the walks to get here actually should almost shut me down. Good date. <laughs> you being homophobic? We're gonna find a single man in, in this city. <laughs> Where the niggas at? I'm trying to, yeah. I'm not, but. I'm so tired. Okay, we're gonna try a tequila espresso martini. I've never tried that before. Never. I never even knew they could make it with tequila. I always thought it was a vodka. Thing. I'm surprised you didn't know that. Everybody, like, that's an Atlanta thing. People love it. Oh. All right, y'all. I love this workout set that I got from Fashion Nova, but um, I'm about to go get my makeup done. Today is the day. I'm in New York for Sisters in Sales. It's gonna be so dope. I see so many people messaging me on LinkedIn in my DMs. Like, I'm gonna be here. So I'm like, oh my gosh. Y'all really showing out? Oh. All right, I had gotten in the elevator, y'all. But like I was saying, I'm so excited to meet everybody. Like, I can't believe um, people are really coming. I'm so happy. Thank you guys for all the positive messages. Uh, the panel is going to be so good. We're going to be talking about building your personal brand and how that really affects sales, which I feel like I have truly mastered and truly, really stepped into in the past two years full on. So I'm really excited to share my insights with everybody among that. And then after, of course, just connect with everybody. I think someone in my monthly coaching group is actually here. That's so crazy. When I was in Dallas, I met someone in my monthly coaching group. So this month has just been so interesting as it relates to um, being able to physically meet a lot of people that I've been interacting with online but yeah i'm super excited i'm grabbing some lunch right now and then i'm gonna go get my makeup done and then we're gonna come back and i actually got somebody to what i'm really excited about is i got i, I um hired a videographer today and y'all my hair has been so fire look at it uh, the perm really just finally got it right i could not wait to do this but um yeah, so I um, I feel like the videographer um, is going to be able to get me clips. I wanted to be able to share this panel with you guys on YouTube. So it won't be the full recording, but I'll still be able to get a ton of clips so I can show you guys in this vlog as well, you know, what exactly I was talking about and the vibes today because I think that will be lit. But i um, really excited. Really, really, really excited. The vibes are great. I had a blast yesterday with Clint. I'm one of my mentors like I just had a really good time and then I am actually grabbing some lunch I just ordered a chicken sandwich and fries so yeah I've been getting weight y'all I've been getting thick and I'm like hold on hold on hold on hold on a few months of eating all summer is hitting me okay and I'm not gonna complain about it because I've been wanting a few pounds y'all look at my makeup oh my god I love it so bad so bad but yeah, I went to Brittany Chanel. She's fire. She's in the city in New York. And if you really need it. And she was so quick. Like, I love that. And ate down. Look at this. Ah! <laughs> I can't. But I'm about to go to the panel. I'm so excited. But yeah, I really love my makeup. Thank you. <laughs> All right. I'm about to head over. This is my outfit. Very different for me. Y'all know I don't be wearing no... Um, Y'all know I don't be. All right, let me see the coffee. Y'all know I don't. First of all, I got coffee, guys, because I'm about to die. I'm about to die. Like, I've been traveling since last week, Thursday, partying, having fun. I can't. I'm like, tonight, I'm going to sleep. But I got to get my energy up. I got about 
I'm just trying to make it there with the traffic. It's crazy out here. It's really crazy out here in these streets. And look at even to exit, it's gonna be crazy. Traffic stands still. Like, it's crazy. It's crazy, crazy, crazy. But anyways. Let's get it, let's get it. Let's get it, it's gonna be lit. I can't wait to do this. Um, but yeah, this is the outfit details I wanted to show you guys. I got on these heels and it's like um, really painful, but we're gonna make a shake. I'm gonna see y'all once we get to the uh, LinkedIn headquarters. Outside of that, I'm a podcast host. Um, I have about 87,000 followers across all my platforms now that I've been working on. Um, and yeah, I'm an influencer online. So that's a little bit about me. Very excited to tell you guys like how I built that brand and you know how all these things came together. But that's me. Uh, I'm Diana. Microsoft, you've been there four years in the sales space. You've been working across customer success. At what point were you like, it's time for me to take this step and bet on myself and start my own personal branding journey outside? Girl, to be honest, at first, and then it, the catalyst decision was like, well, what do I actually want to do with this platform and following, right? Like, I have a ton of women following me. Um, how do I want to represent myself and what can I provide to this community? So I think for me, the turning point was primarily around understanding, like, you do have influence, um, and you need to like let people know that black women can be in tech sales, you can be represented in this space, and it's amazing. It's not something I should just be hiding and kind of like, I don't want nobody knowing what I do for work, you know what I mean? So I was very private, because um, the internet can be you know, kind of crazy, so I didn't want people really knowing my personal business at first, but I think um, for me, I just, one day I did like a career chat, and I think like the first time, like a few hundred people signed up and like 90 people showed up live the first time and I was like, oh, oh y'all want this information, okay? <laughs> what am I gonna do with this? So I think for me that was like the pivotal moment was just putting myself out there in a new light for people to see me in that way and it was received so well and the engagement was so crazy that I was just like, okay, I'm gonna ride this wave, you know? So I think that was it for me. I can see why you had the Instagram follower. I just went live. How are you? Balancing. Well, I guess the first question is like, how do you define professionalism, right? LinkedIn had this huge campaign last year, 2021, around redefining professionalism. What I forgot. <laughs> what professionalism? What professionalism looks like, and how we're all redefining that, and showing up as ourselves at work. Uh, but when you're taking, I would say obviously you just have to use discretion. Like naturally, I can't post like everything I'm doing in my life. But I do think what makes my audience connect with me is me showing up as my authentic self and people realizing like, I am a corporate daddy. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm gonna show up, I'm gonna step into the room with a certain level of confidence and, and dress how I'm gonna dress and be my authentic self and still crush it at work. So that's the relatable piece that people actually fall in love with more than me trying to portray like, I'm just super corporate or I'm just super this, like I am me. Right, so I'm adaptable. When I go to work, I am who I am. When I'm on vacation, I am who I am. You know what I'm saying? Like I am gonna show up and 
um, articulate myself and, and just present myself as my true self. I think the balance to it is always performing, right? I think it becomes a problem, right? If I'm not crushing it at work. I would say, obviously, you just have to use discretion. Like, naturally, I can't post, like, everything I'm doing in my life. But I do think what makes my audience connect with me is me showing up as my authentic self and people realizing, like, I am a corporate daddy, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm going to show up, I'm going to step into the room with a certain level of confidence and, and dress how I'm going to dress and be my authentic self and still crush it at work. So that's the relatable piece that people actually fall in love with more than me trying to portray, like, I'm just super corporate or I'm just super this, like, I am me, right? So I'm adaptable when I go to work, I am who I am. When I'm on vacation, I am who I am. You know what I'm saying? Like, I am going to show up and um, articulate myself and, and just present myself as my true self. I think the balance to it is always performing, right? I think it becomes a problem, right, if I'm not crushing it at work, but as she's still being herself. So I think that that is the true balance, right? Balancing out your performance. Because if you're in sales, you're in a performance-driven role. So if you're really crushing it, like, it's cool for me to get online and say, oh, yeah, I just closed a $3 million deal. But it's like, it's not cool for me to get online and be like, hey, I missed my number this quarter. I can't co spend what has really brought my brand together is really staying dedicated and crushing it and being able to still show up as my authentic self, truly. Like, yeah. Yeah. I think for me, um, it's really questioning what does professionalism even mean? Because my company who are engaging with me and I want to present myself in a way more professional aspect on LinkedIn, but I feel like Instagram is my personal profile. Like, this is a different platform for that. Um, so I would just say, yeah, have your discretion as well. I'm saying your main goal is to produce content that resonates with the audience and lands with that audience. So just make sure that you know how to switch the content up for the different platforms as well, is what I would say. Diana, you mentioned watching your uh, TikTok in 2021, and it's so sick. The first thing I thought of was, um, the Magnus Stallion Savage Challenge in 2021. Drafts of me trying to do these dances. I don't publish them. I just want to see if I can do them. Um, like the water uh, challenge now. I'm like, no, your body doesn't shake like yeah, that. Uh, um, but anyway, they're in the drafts. Uh, in 2021, when I started talking about uh, customer success on TikTok, people were like, unless you have something called your unique value proposition, right? So I think for me, I looked at the market and I said, what is your unique value? in this market and it was the fact that there weren't many women who looked like me or acted like me online doing what I'm doing and I was just like all right like well I'm gonna be the girl to do it practical applications of everything that I'm doing with customers and my processes at work every single day and I really apply them to my life because I'm like the same way that you would you know position a product to a customer you are positioning the value of that solution for someone to buy into you so it's the same exact thing on my social media like how am I gonna get people from free to only paid? So like maybe not when somebody reached out for your first one, you may have been excited, but when did you decide like I'm not gonna do anything else for free? Oh, like things with services that you bought from online. Um, for like your brand deals and stuff like that. Oh, um once money started coming in. <laughs> um, because there's a point where you're not really getting offers for money you'll know like you know you're gonna get that first email like hey we want to pay you X or you know like it just happens kind of I wouldn't say there's a point where I was just like to them like hey I want to be paid for this it was more like oh, I um, and yeah so I would say that um, I would say outside of brands like the services I offered online there was a point where I was just answering DMs and giving out tons of free information and at that point I realized one people will waste your time right my 